What's up, everyone? We are live at 5 here at Broadway.com. It is Tuesday? It is. Tuesday, January 15th. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And hey, look who's over there. Oh Special my gosh. guest, Caitlin What's Gallup, up? our social media maven. Do you mind maven? Yeah, I think that's a great no, word. Maven's She's into it. Yeah. Uh, and who's here today? Guys. Oh my God. Such a treat today. Teal Wicks from oh, the Share Show. One of our is favorite ladies on Broadway, Teal. Miss Teal Wicks. We're going to talk all about the fabulous new musical, The Share Show. But first, today's top five. All right, we're just going to start you off with some really sad news. Um, a Broadway icon passed away. Yes, a lot of us, I think, woke up to this news this morning. Yeah. Carol Channing passed away on January 15th at the age of 97. She passed away in her home in California, Rancho Mirage. I love Rancho Mirage. Rancho Mirage. Um, I don't think I have to tell you who Carol Channing is, of course. She was the original iconic star of Hello, Dolly, of course. Um, but she was also a Lorelai Lee in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Um, she was in the Vamps film in 1955. Um, sorry, in the Vamps. She was also in the Thoroughly Modern Millie film alongside Mary Tyler Moore and Julie Andrews. Just an absolute icon of musical theater and Broadway and music. Incredible, wonderful woman. Um, I know that you've put up a dedication, a, a great photo that you took with her. Oh yeah, I got. To, I yeah. interviewed her when her memoirs came out. Right. She was so yes. so lovely. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Now she's been this focus of an incredible documentary film. Our uh, in-house illustrator Ryan Casey made a beautiful. Um, Check out our Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Illustration of her. And of course, the Hello Dolly tour, currently being led um, by Betty Buckley, is opening in San Diego tonight, which is where the original tour of Hello Dolly, starring oh, wow. Carol Channing, opened um, back then. And so and she so put. Close to Ransom Mara. I absolutely. Mean, so close to yes. the, the Palm Springs area this, where Carol Channing's. Yeah. Um, Be uh, Betty Buckley just said, thank you for the legacy of joy and a dedication to her. And they are dedicating tonight's performance to her. Also, Broadway will dim all of its marquee lights simultaneously on January 16th at exactly 7 45 p.m. in her memory. She left all of us with so many incredible memories. What a great Icon. line. All right, on a lighter note, we got some news that will melt your frozen heart and hands and body because it's really cold outside. <laughs> well, this was a surprise. This was a surprise. I don't think we saw a this coming. No. Um, so Ryan Redman, the fantastic Ryan mm -hmm. Redman, yeah. will play Olaf in yeah, Frozen. Yeah, gender swap. I mean, said, if, gender snow, blind if snow people can be gendered. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Snowmen. Right. Who said? <laughs> Who um, said? <laughs> Yeah, so Greg Hildreth, of course, opened the show. It is still playing it. But uh, starting February 19th, Ryan Redman, fantastic news. Former Broadway.com video blogger, that's right. by the way, from Bring It On oh, back in the day. So good. Uh, also, that's not it. Also, Joe Carroll, the fantastic Joe Carroll, who mm -hmm. has been here, will be taking over the role of Hans from John Riddle. And Noah J. Ricketts, who is currently an ensemble member, will take off take over the role of Kristoff from sure. Jelani Aladdin. Yeah. Um, and so... Uh, Greg Hildreth, Riddle, and Aladdin are all leaving on February 17th. They're all fantastic in the show. And then starting on February 19th, the role of Sven. Who's Sven? Sven, he is the reindeer, of course. Of course. Sven is the reindeer. Absolutely. It's a very physically demanding it role. It is, yeah. Like, so uh, it will through. now be taken over by Andrew Parazzi, who is currently playing the role, and Adam Jepsen is the alternate. They will now share. They'll do four performances each a week. Also... Casey Levy and Patty Murin are staying they're around. Not, they're not Those going two divas anywhere. aren't going anywhere. They no. know a good role when they got Absolutely. one. So uh, Frozen is heading into its second year. Yeah. So uh, congratulations to all the new cast members. Exciting stuff. Um, and so Ryan Murphy is um, basically putting together our dream cast of um, theater actors for Netflix. Yeah, I need to take a moment here. So uh, Ryan, we, we are both <laughs> huge fans anything of Mr. Ryan, Ryan Murphy. Murphy. Does Ryan Murphy has uh, he is now working under Netflix and right. a huge deal, like a nine-figure deal. And the very first project he's working on for Netflix is Ratchet. Wait, it is the nine figures. Nine, nine figures. figures. So yeah. nine figures is like hundreds of millions. Um, no, like, I, like, oh, I don't know. Ten, 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 how I think it's this yes. Yes. lot. Yes, yes. not Thank billions. <laughs> not billions. <laughs> Hundreds of millions, millions but lots of and dollars. lots of millions. So the first project is Ratchet, which is the story of, it is the prequel story of Nurse Ratchet from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the book and the movie, of course. And Broadway and, play. And Broadway, Broadway play, play too, that's yeah. right. Sarah Paulson is playing the young Nurse Ratchet, and the, this cast is 
incredible. Cynthia Nixon, Harriet Harris, Amanda Plummer, Corey Stahl, John John Brionis, Charlie Carver, Hunter Parrish, Judy Davis, Sharon Stone, and Finn Whitrock are all joining the cast of this. Yes, Teal Wicks is freaking out, as you all should be. It's an absolutely insane cast. It's already been ordered for two seasons, 18 episodes total. They will begin premiering in 2020. I won't stop talking about this until that premiere in I mean, 2020. What do we know of Nurse Ratcha from Once Over Cooker's Nest? She's, she's a handful. I mean, by the time we meet her, yeah, she's just this intimidating, furious figure. But we get to find out, like, what, what got her to that what point? Got what her got there. her it's there? It's like Wicked. Exactly. <laughs> it's the Wicked for it's Nurse Ratcha. That's right. Well, I, I cannot wait. I'm so very excited. All right, and last night we caught up with Broadway's new dear or Evan Hansen. Yes, Andrew Barth Feldman is about to make yes, his big, debut. Big on debut. January 30th as Evan Hansen. He mm-hmm. is, of course, a real high schooler, which is very exciting. Wild. Um, 16 years old. Is that true? Wild. He's still yeah. 16? Wild. He's still 16. <laughs> That's. You know what? Anyway, uh, uh, Lindsay Sullivan ran into him last night at the at the gym. He won the Jimmy Award 2018. They had yes. a reunion event for the Jimmy Awards. The Jimmy Awards, of course, is the high school awards, and mm-hmm. they are now birthing Broadway stars, including um, Andrew Barth Feldman. And um, so we ran into him last night, and he said that you know we asked him. Lindsay asked him about having to keep it a secret that he was like Broadway's next Evan Hansen, and he said right. it was good practice for the part because we all know. Evan. Evan Hansen's a handful, He's too. He's got some secrets. Uh, and so he told us all about his love of Broadway. It all started with Beating the Beast because everything starts with Beating the Beast. When you're for 16, anyone of course. Of a certain <laughs> age. For me, it was Annie. People oh, my age, it was yes. Annie. Mm-hmm. Now it's Beating the Beast. Um, anyway, we're excited to see him on Broadway on the 30th. Can't so go wait. check that out on the site. All right, and last but not least, we got final official casting for the Falsettos tour. Yes, yeah, so Eden Espinosa was here yesterday she chatting was. about the Falsettos tour. Is Sorry. Speaking of alphabets, I was going to say. Speaking of alphabets, of course, alphabet yes. Uh, the tour is launching in Fayetteville, Arkansas on February 8th through the 19th. It will have an official opening at the Golden Gate Theater in San Francisco, California, of course, in March. Um, we ha- we know the whole ca- we knew the whole cast except Jason. Jason is a very important role. A crucial role. And now it's his you- bar mitzvah. <laughs> Absolutely. And Jim Kaplan, young actor you might know from The King and I or School of Rock on Broadway. He also did the tour of Matilda, the musical. He and another young actor, Thatcher Jacobs will be sharing the role of Jason in the show. Thatcher. Thatcher, right? Isn't that a, what a Thatcher great name. Jacobs? Yeah, absolutely. Of Thatch. course. <laughs> of course, this cast already inc- already also includes Max von Essen, Nick Adams, Eden Espinosa, as I mentioned, and Nick Blameyer. Incredible, cool, incredible show. Great cast. Great young performers. One to catch. We're gonna go see that. We are gonna go see we that. We're gonna go to. Out. I've never been to the Golden Gate Theater. Oh, are we going there? Sure. Okay. I mean, see falsettos in San <laughs> Book Francisco. Our tickets. Yeah. All right. I'm on it. Let <laughs> me go going? do that. Oh, yes, okay. I'm, go I'm do into that. it. If you're into <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. You as well. Uh, hey, Caitlin, tell us about today's guest. All right. So Teal Wicks is currently starring as one third of Cher in the Cher Show. She has previously been seen on Broadway in Wicked, Finding Neverland, and Jekyll and Hyde. Teal's screen credits include NCIS New Orleans, Chicago Justice, Elementary, and The Good Wife. Be sure to follow her on social media at Teal Wicks and leave all your questions and comments down below. Um, please welcome Teal and Paul. Miss Teal Wicks, how are you doing? Hello. It's good, good to see you. First of all, Hi. show off the t-shirt. It's sure. love, love it. You're representing the lady. Sharing is caring, as we say. The dark lady. You're sharing is caring. Mm-hmm. Um, the dark lady ha- Do herself. you have a lot of share fashion? Um, I think I have three shirts. Okay. Um, good for press events. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I, I would love more. <laughs> oh, she's welcoming me. So, more. hey. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah. into it. Yeah. Uh, how are you? How are things at the Neil Simon? You guys, you got open. We now, got open. Now, I went to your, um, actually, I was at your Chicago opening. Yeah. I was at your Broadway opening. Yeah. Two very different shows. I mean, what yeah. A, I mean, what an really, amazing really journey shows. to watch that musical come together yeah. into the highly entertaining Broadway musical we yeah. have now. What was it like for you and for the other actors in the show to to sort of have that journey? Well, it's really cool because, uh, you know, with new musicals, you really want to really t- take advantage of having an out-of-town tryout and really... Yeah. Um, Too often shows don't. Yeah. So often I see shows from out of town come to Broadway and, and they're like... They've... And some of the actors will be like, oh my God, it's so different. And I'll be like... And you're like... I didn't notice. There's two lines. <laughs> that character says this line and she says something else. Wow. This one I was Could like, wow. Change. Yeah, no, it's like, I mean, 
we all, I feel like it's like 75% different. Some people say 80, some people yeah. say 60, yeah. whatever. I but say 63. 63? Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it was, it was great because, I mean, when we first started in Chicago, I think our first preview, our show was three hours long and mm -hmm. everybody knew we had to trim it down. But we, Rick Ellis, uh, our writer, yep. and Jason Moore, our director, really mm -hmm. crafted this show that they wanted not just like a linear typical storytelling you yeah. know trajectory it's there's a lot of moments there's a reason why there's three of us because we have moments where Cher is talking to the different versions of herself mm -hmm. to get advice and figure out how to move ahead and that all these things like little mini therapy sessions yeah. and it's it's a it's a kind of a big concept and trying to and also Cher has lived a lot of life yes. like a lot of life yes. six decades very like nailing it and six def different decades in mm -hmm. very different mediums of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, you know, there's a lot of story to tell and to try to tell it within two and a half hours is tricky. So we started three hours and also we have this kind of, you know, meta sort of heady kind of concept of Cher talking to herself and right. we're sort of in Cher's headspace and then also this variety sketch show sort yep. of concept. So we had to start with all the version, trying to kind of, tap into everything mm -hmm. in Chicago and then figure out what we could get rid of and what needed to stay and really find the heart and center of the show. Mm -hmm. And so what's great for us is even though this Broadway show is much, a lot of the excess stuff is stripped away, you know, as they say, we trimmed the fat. Mm -hmm. it, there was a lot of character work and development that we now all have and have deeply layered into our show right. with the whole company that the audience doesn't necessarily have to see, but we have it. Mm -hmm. So it kind of keeps us still in the world that we started in Chicago, but now we've really streamlined it. So it's just, it's share. It has to be big. It has to be flashy. It has to be entertaining. It also has to be moving yeah. and a lot of heart. And, you know, she's had a lot of ups and downs. So we, when we land in the downs, we really want to land there and mm -hmm. then really launch out of it. So it's, yeah. The it's, other thing it's that trip. happened between Chicago and Broadway is that, Somebody came in with opinions, and her name is Cher. Yes. She very publicly saw the show in Chicago yeah. and said, like, oh, I want to fix some things. Yeah. Which was, which was kind of cool. I Absolutely. Mean, so what was it like to have Cher around and to have Cher sort of stopping in and dropping in shocking and having, the audience? Yes. And, oh, my gosh, Cher's out. Are you totally, like, numb to Cher now? Are you just like, oh, there's um, Cher, my buddy Cher. I know. I know. <laughs> it's really interesting. It is kind of like, we're like, oh, yeah, Cher. I mean, we will never... I will never say that I know Cher really, really well because uh -huh. it's Cher. She's just, it's Cher. She knows your name. She knows, yeah, she knows my she name. Knows we've, your we've had one on ones. We've sat and chatted. Amazing. She hung out in my dressing room. And uh, you have to sort of really take those moments. And when do. Cher walks into your yeah. dressing room, you have to be like, I'm never going to forget. Right. <laughs> this, because this she's a busy, busy woman. <laughs> it took a long time to get one on ones. The first time we met, her, or the first time I met her in Chicago, the first thing she said to the three of us was, she was like, I really want to spend time with you. I right. really want to sit down and just tell you stories, whether they're helpful or not. And we were like, please, oh my God, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And then, you know, it wasn't until months later that we actually had the sit down chat. Yeah. But, but it was intense having Cher around. And yeah. it's her life. And she, like, she's. She said to us very bluntly that it's really hard to watch her life yep. happen on stage. Mm -hmm. There are people, loved ones from her life that are no longer with us that are in the show. And mm -hmm. we want to be very respectful for how they're represented, but also be honest about what those relationships were. And mm -hmm. it's not a secret. Like, sh she's had a lot of very complex relationships with a lot of people in her life, a lot of men in her life. Mm -hmm. And they're in our show. And yeah. you have to, it's very tricky. So she had very strong opinions about those yeah and how they're presented yeah. it's it's so funny because when beautiful the carol king musical started carol king was like i don't know if i want to see that show because oh my it was god the same thing it's like that's like how difficult I and now she's like happy anniversary beautiful <laughs> yeah i'm back that's, you know yeah you know it's really interesting that it's a di very different thing when the person is living and out there and mm -hmm. still making music and and that's kind of with Cher. i mean she you know, it's not a secret that the tabloids and I were like, Cher hates her own musical, blah, blah, blah. And it's, we were like, she doesn't hate it. She just has, it's a lot. Right. It's a lot for her to take in. Yeah. And she kind of needs to take it in doses. And yeah. But every time she came back, she would be more and more confident with it. And she needed to feel very safe with this musical, mm -hmm. be very proud and be, feel very secure with what we're doing and how we're telling the story for her to be fully on board. And now she's fully on board mm -hmm. and she's, she's like loving it it was so funny like she came to see the show 
she left early. She came back and then came back mm -hmm. and then came back. And then every time she'd come back and say hi to the cast, it was like she was more relaxed yeah, and yeah. chill and more yeah. like casual share than before. And awesome. we're like, okay, That's awesome. thanks, girl. So what do you like about Lady? Ooh, Lady. So that, your, your character is Lady. I'm Lady. Uh, there's Babe, lady. lady, and Star. Babe, Lady, uh, and Star. Is la lady, uh, she doesn't, lady doesn't have like Jan syndrome, middle child syndrome, middle share syndrome. I don't know. I, I'm i an only child, and <laughs> this is getting the closest that I've had to what it's like to have siblings and kind of sisters. <laughs> sure. And it is very interesting. And, and there are moments where I'm like, oh, my God, am I feeling like the middle child right now? <laughs> I mean, I'm sandwiched between Stephanie J. Block, right. who is... I've been an admirer. I mean, she's fantastic. Yeah. She's she is a Broadway legend. Did she you guys so know each other well before? You're both yeah. Alphabas, of course. Yes. Everyone's an Alphaba. We, All both... we love our Alphabas, yeah. by the way. We Thanks. talked about this yesterday. A lot of great um, talent came out of that show. Yeah. And <laughs> and a lot of a lot of us, you know, we we have like the Green Girl Sisterhood. It's yeah, the sister, you know, it's yeah. it's it's we kind of have our like battle wounds. We're like, yeah. So you did know each other. You, we knew each other. You know? I did a show with his, with, oh my God. I did a show with her husband, Sebastian. Yes. Um, and I knew Steph. We're both from California and I don't know, just okay. in life. We just knew each other. So right. she's amazing. She's amazing. And then you have that and then we have Ma Yeah. And then we have little Michaela Diamond, who is a teenager who is making her Broadway debut. And she is, it's like watching, you know, it's, it is like watching a star is born. You're like, yeah. oh, ho, ho. She's the real deal, and she has it all together. She's sometimes more professional and grounded than so I am. Let's get together. She really is. Would she be a good alpha? She, if she sure. wanted to be, sure. yeah. If she sure. wants to be, but who knows? <laughs> she's got a lot. She's got a lot, got a lot of stuff of ahead, ahead of her. her. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I have these two like fantastic yeah. girls that are both end, like very different ends of the spectrum, right. and I'm kind of like, and then there's me. A little no, old teal just like trucking no, along. But Lady is fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love Lady. Right. I, yeah. And you get to do a lot of the, um, you talk about the variety show, you get to do a lot of that, oh my bah, gosh. Bah, 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 a lot of that like That's, comedy stuff. That is with Jared Spector. Best. With Jared Sonny. Spector, who yeah. is, I adore him. Um, Did you watch a lot of the variety? Um, you must all have the like, time. watched I, all the, yeah. you've been on YouTube like nonstop watching all the time. clips. I still, as weeks go on, if I'm feeling like, I'm like, mm, I don't know, I feel like something needs, something's not uh -huh. quite right, or I need to finesse something, I'll go back and watch more. Yeah. Comedy hour skits, just because their brand of comedy was so specific, and uh -huh. we don't really have it anymore. And that was the biggest thing when I started researching Cher, watch watching all of the variety show stuff. She is so funny, and yeah. her sense of comedy. I mean, she it's innate to who she is. Uh -huh. It is just dry and witty, and like zingers, and it's not pushed. It's so delicate and specific. Mm -hmm. So it's tricky to try to master that on stage and. I don't know. I think we're doing okay. You are. Is it? Is it fun to get laughs? Like, oh my god! I mean, because you get these great punchlines, and then yes! the, yeah, it's, he it's does, really he's, working. Jared does all the work. He sets it up, and I just go. Hey. <laughs> exactly. And I get to stand there. I mean, it's it's amazing. I thank Rick Ellis all the time for giving me the gift of finally being feeling like a comedian. Because I get so scared. You look fantastic oh, on stage. Um, are you totally comfortable in all the revealing Mackie? And yeah. you look amazing. Yeah. It's it's one of the tricks of Is this Cher. the least you've worn on stage? Um, Maybe not. Yeah. I mean, in college, <laughs> we did hair, and we were naked on oh, stage. So okay. That okay. Was hair, hair always wins, I guess. <laughs> that was college. Those those days were crazy. Um, yeah, no, it is. But it's very much Cher yeah. feels she would wear anything yeah. and nothing, right. and she always was just lived and comfortable in her skin, so it's kind of just the nature of the part. I think all three of us... All three of us shares, who, girls who play share, know like that was a huge to be share, to be believably share. You had to own your body, own mm -hmm. whatever you were wearing, and just wear it with ease and comfort. Um, yeah, so it's you're nailing up. Yeah, it's very, it's very empowering, uh -huh. um, and it's fun. It's Bob Mackie outfit. So like, it's just the game, the fashion game has been totally just like completely changed. You also look fantastic off stage. Can we look at oh, this? Oh, thanks. Oh my ah! God. Can we look at this photo? This is like one of my favorite. We do these portrait booths on opening night on um, Broadway now because it's a thing. And Emilio Madrid Cusar took this photo. This is like, do you, it's so I mean, cool. is this framed in your home? This is oh like, you God. look Could amazing. You imagine? Look how gorgeous you are. I mean, that's my new headshot. 
I'm just going to submit it's it so to everybody and be like, look hey. I mean, you're really like, I guess when you're in the share show, you have to step up your fashion game in yes. general, right? Like opening night must have been stressful. It was. It was, I mean, I I had a stylist. My manager set me up with this stylist Fantastic. who I, he's awesome. Nailed it. And it was so much fun. And I was kind of like, I want like power suit, but I want to feel like a rock star and da, 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 da. And he, so good. Anyways, it's it's real fun. I love it. What's your favorite song in the show? Oh, oh, that's not fair. Or like right now. Which one are you really um, loving right now? I really, I really love the beat goes on. We do such, we have such a brilliant way of doing the beat goes on. It's this whole like, well, this whole team, theatrical little team number. Little yeah. does a whole like, yeah, dance routine. Yeah, like it's a whole variety show. Yeah, of dan- it's almost like it's, it's almost really kind of like a Fosse number. It's yep. very '60s, and we talk about we go through Cher's movie career. It's really and clever. It's, yeah, it was it was a moment in the show that took a while for them to figure out what mm-hmm. they wanted to do, and all of a sudden it was like within the eleventh hour of rehearsals before we went to Chicago, and all of a sudden one day they came in with this beat goes on, and everybody was like, Whoa. yeah, <laughs> yeah, all right, done, enough said, and then Michaela gets to kick her face yeah she does that i just can't i just she made me I, when that happened i was like i think i'm gonna quit after this i think that's just i think i'm done you're not going anywhere i guess not i have anything to say about thanks. it thanks uh hey caitlin yeah what are the people online oh saying my gosh, they oh, are saying online. so many good things that's nice. um leona wants to know what is the best part of getting to play a living legend eight times a week um the, oh my gosh! Okay, wow. The best part. The best part. Uh, well, it's great because there is a lot of material that I can look up to draw on from for right. inspiration mm-hmm. and research. And I have a massive share playlist that I, she has so many albums that I can cycle through all of them and Do you not like be any, tired like, of maybe them. Maybe more obscure share things that we don't. Yes, like oh I God. love Taxi Taxi. Taxi look Taxi. <laughs> I love. <laughs> I'm really into um, some of her stuff from the 70s and some of her and Sonny's earlier stuff. They have do a version of Love is Strange. You know that? Love, oh, I love, love that song. is Strange. They have this. Was that in Dirty Dancing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They do a cover of it that they did probably in the 70s. I don't know. It's just really cool and funky. And ugh, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Look it up. Look Kids. it up. Taxi, taxi. Love is Strange. Love is Strange. <laughs> love is Strange is probably better. <laughs> what else? <laughs> All right, Alexandra says, um, as you are playing someone so fiercely, f- so fearless and ballsy, what is the most dangerous or adventurous thing you've ever done? Oh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Um, <laughs> I tried to be really. I thought I was really hot, sh- hot stuff when I was a teenager. Um, went to a lot of concerts, a lot of like rock concerts and punk concerts, and I remember trying to. I would always want to like crowd surf. Or go to the. What? I know this sounds so Stop. crazy. Or go to like the mosh pits oh when I was at the God. concerts, I and I was like this little girl. But I thought I was so. I thought I was such a badass, and I thought I could like take on all the guys. One time I got kicked in the face. Wait, and you that, like actually crowd surf? Yeah. You like went out and just jumped into a yeah. crowd of strangers with yeah. their arms up in the air. Yes. I would. I. I've, I have. I did a skydive, but I would never do that. I was more comfortable skydiving. A That's su- terrifying. A successful crowd surfing is super cool, but it's not always successful. I one time was crowd surfing and then they dropped me and then and they kicked you in the and face. And then I then I had to yeah. Oh my. God. Anyways, <laughs> I'm cool. I'm a rock star. Does when you're playing share though does 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 that rub off on you at all? All that energy of the character. I mean, do you do you feel yourself like? Kind. I mean, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, yeah I do. I de- yeah. She definitely has given me courage to um, go through my closet and wear a lot of my like really crazy clothes that I would buy on a whim and then never right. wear. And I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to throw it together and strut my stuff yeah. confidently through the city. Screw it. Thank yeah. you, Cher. Thanks, Cher. Thanks, Cher. <laughs> um, we also have a great question where compared to your previous roles, um, what is the difference between getting into character for Cher versus um, getting into character for Elphaba or mm. any of your previous roles? Well, what's interesting with this role is that because I share it with two other girls, um, it's what's really important to me is having a moment before with them mm. so that we can all connect so that once we're on stage together, we're really connected to each other and can really vibe off of each other and be in sync. So it's so this what's so different for this is that I, I very much rely on my other two actors to really kind of, yeah, really click in and find our share together because all three of us together are one share. Hmm. 
That's really interesting. I mean, yeah. I think that's a very special yeah. sort of experience. Yeah. I yeah, cuz I mean, I can be in my dressing room doing all of my stuff to get ready, but it's if as soon as I walk out on stage, if I haven't already looked in these girls' eyes and given them a squeeze and do whatever we do before, have a moment before, it would just it would be weird. It'd be weird. I love that. All right, and final question. Um, what do you think is going to surprise people about this show? Mm. Oh. I'm sure people walk in with a lot yeah. of, sort of misconceptions yeah. or preconceived notions about what the share show would be. Well, what I, I hope people are surprised by is uh, I hope they're moved because mm. there are some moving moments. I mean, and how poignant, or not poignant, but how, like, relatable Cher's story actually is. I mean, she's a woman that had a lot of ups and downs and she had to fight a lot for the things that she wanted in life and had to fully embrace like some low moments and get get through those. And I think it's just, there's she has a perseverance that I think a lot of people have and can relate to and also might find inspiring. And I hope that's, I hope that's a surprise mm -hmm. or I hope they at least get it because that's at the heart of our show. Mm -hmm. We have this kind of, you know, like you, you face fear. What happens when you're fearful? You face it down, and you don't, you don't push it away. You don't deny it. You, you look at it and you say, okay, all right, I see you now. What are we gonna? How are we gonna move forward from this? And you push past it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of, yeah, sort of a central message of what we're doing. And I have one more question. What yeah. is your take on burlesque? Because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love for I've never seen it. <gasps> Stop, oh Michaela Diamond. Get this girl to watch I'm burlesque. Sorry. I, I, it, it's it's really fun, right? Am I, I, am I, am I, I right? Was, am no, I it's right? amazing. Am I right? Okay. It also, gonna, I was it's on my list. It's on. I know. Homework. I have my homework. You have some, homework. You have some homework to do. Oh. <laughs> Just send us a video of you saying "Wagon Wheel" with Tusi after you've okay, seen got it, it, and we'll know. Got we'll it. Know I mean, I know what that song is. I've seen the video of it. I've seen videos. Moments from that show. Okay. I just haven't seen okay. the movie. Just get some popcorn and enjoy it. One, uh, one, you know, like yeah. A, yeah. I know. Yeah. I apologize. It, no, no, you don't have to apologize. Like You're <laughs> doing tremendous work. <laughs> I just outed myself, lady. <laughs> Lady over at the Neil Simon Theater. The show has nothing to do with Neil Simon, but it's just as good as Neil Simon's legacy. Yeah. We love the share show. <laughs> we got comedy. It's so funny. Isn't it funny how you like associate yeah. names of theaters with shows? It's like I know. Neil Simon, the share show. <laughs> I think I think we overheard somebody walking past our theater saying, huh, the share show by Neil Simon. <laughs> mm, I wonder what that's like. Uh, I love what his take would have been. Yeah. Well, luckily, oh, Rick Ellis did it, and he, he's, he's great, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teal, thank you so you much. Everyone, check out the share show. Yeah. It is fantastic. Uh, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? All right. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. You can listen to this interview and so many others by searching um, at the favorite place you get your podcast, hashtag live at five and subscribe. Tune in tomorrow as we are talking with one of your favorite Broadway stars.